All right, so we got an expression in front of us, and we're going to distribute not only a number, but a fraction to the terms inside of the parentheses. So we're going to first set up inside of the parentheses and understand that we have eight x's. And we also have a negative 20 that's inside of our parentheses. So those are our two terms. And we can represent those uh, by eight pawns, eight positive pawns, so they're green, and a negative 20 on our red die. Now outside of the parentheses, which we're not gonna distribute 1 fourth to, is four positive x's. So we're gonna put those off to the side by themselves because they're not really gonna get touched. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to take our eight x's and our negative 20 and we are going to split it up into four equal sections. And so I'm gonna put my four x's off to the side and I'm gonna take my eight x's down below and I'm going to create four sections of them. So what I'm going to do, if I take eight x's, I'm going to split them up evenly and that means there would be two x's in each box. And what that's representing is that one fourth would be equal to just two x's. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with negative 20. I'm gonna take negative 20 and split that up into four equal sections. Whoops. Let me put negative 20 in first. And when we do that, each section is going to get five negatives. And what you guys are going to see is the one-fourth is telling us that we only want one out of the four sections. And so that's why I circled 2x at the beginning here, one of these sections and one of these sections. The other three are going to get taken away. We're going to take those three sections away. And now what's left is I have a 2x, I have a negative 5, and then we still have the 4x's from up above. So I have four positive x's that I'm going to put with this. And when we rearrange it and put our terms together, 2x and 4x can go together, and that's going to give us 6x's, and then we still have a negative 5. And so our expression is going to end up being simplified as 6x minus 5. Now take a look at your test question and see if you can figure out step 1. Step 1, the same step as distributing the fraction to the two terms inside of the parentheses.